Welcome to InfoSec Daily. In today's session, we are going to talk about a tool called OLEDBG. OLEDBG is a debugging tool used for binary code analysis. So what this tool does is that it converts binary language into assembly language. Assembly language is an instruction set architecture based on low level language that has an efficient code and is user friendly. Uh, this application is used to find bug in a program, troubleshoot it and run its specific parts to see how it works. OLEDBG has a function that allows us to use plugins. However, the plugins are not found in default but we can add or download it. What are plugins? Well, plugins are an additional functionality of OLEDBG. These are dynamic link libraries uh, attached to OLEDBG to extend its functionality to make the software advanced and process fast. So what is this tool used for? Well, this tool is used for reverse engineering. If you are new to this topic, then you might not know what reverse engineering is. It is basically taking things apart, figuring it out how it works and putting it back together. Engineering is building things, whereas reverse engineering is breaking things apart to see how it functions. The usual reasons of performing reverse engineering of a piece of software is to recreate the program, exploit its vulnerabilities and strengthen its defenses. This tool is also used for malware analysis where we understand the purpose and behavior of a malware. Besides that, this tool is also used to see how the files are encrypted by the malware, where the in information is stored and how the information is passed through internet. For example, ransomware is one of the malware which uh, encrypts file for certain ransom. We can use this tool to see how the file is encrypted and in some cases we can also decrypt the file. The good thing about this tool is that we can use this tool to edit the source code, add or delete it in order to make a new one out of an existing one. We can use this tool to crack a software. Suppose we have an application where we need to enter a serial code or number in order to run a program. So with the help of this tool, we can find where the serial number or code has been entered and edit it. Uh, let's start the demonstration. In this demonstration, we are going to see how we can crack a software. So I have this program which looks like this. So let's click OK and see. So here we got an error message saying, please fill in one character to continue. So let's type random keyboards. I'll type hello, hello. We click OK. And here you can see you got an another me uh, error message saying you have entered a wrong serial. Please try again. So how this software works is that in the back end of this software, there are certain operations that checks whether the value the user entered is correct or not. So if the user enters the right value, then it displays correct message and runs the program or else it throws an error message like this. So in order to run this program, either we need to change the input value or delete it. So let's crack this software using OLEDBG tool. So let's open. So now let's check all the executable modules stored in the software. View executable modules. And key 4 is the software that we need. So let's find show names and see its functions so before when we entered a wrong serial or dialog box had appeared and uh, we got an error message from there so let's search for the functions that is responsible to display that message um, delete object exit cursor okay here it is it is uh, message box a uh, so this is the one that is responsible so let's click and find its references okay the first function is for the empty box uh, that we uh, we saw earlier in the uh, program so second one is the error message that we get if we did not fill any serial code and third one is the uh, message that we get if we had entered a right serial code and the fourth one is for 
if we had entered a wrong so let's follow this and this is similar so this is from where the program starts uh, so as the wrong validation process starts from here we need to omit this process in order to run the program so let's double click it and let's do an op which means no operation so let's assemble it now let's run this program and see I think this one okay let's type hello hello okay so here you can see we got the right message even though we entered the wrong uh, serial code it's because we uh, deleted the whole program so let's say uh, so we need to make this an executable file so to make it an executable file we need to do edit copy to executable and we need to save it for later so you can give your own name and make sure to make it an executable file so now we have successfully cracked this software most of the time reverse engineering is used to break a software protection but with good intention it gives you power to find a hidden backdoor and malicious code the best way to learn reverse engineering is by performing one so pick a target and attempt to crack one now if you enjoyed this video do like and share it this is kripa thapa signing off